necessarily say quick hook, but you would be more inclined to go to Andrew sooner than perhaps earlier in the season, just because of him establishing himself a little bit. I would say everything about that statement is true except for the quick hook part. I, I don't know how that works. The game has to play itself out. But clearly, because he's played, Andrew, a little bit more substantially, if you will, you know, you feel a lot more confidence in his ability to run. Brian, uh, it's kind of a tip of the cap when some of your assistants get hooked up by yeah. other programs and so forth. But how do you work that with recruiting, practices, <coughs> roles? What's the challenge there for you? You know, every year, Aaron, it comes to during this time, the silly season of college football when there's so much movement. Um, we remind our recruits as to why they chose Notre Dame. You don't choose it for Brian Kelly. You don't choose it just for one particular coach. You choose Notre Dame for all of our distinctions. And we kind of remind them of that if there's ever a situation where a coach is leaving. Uh, so we're kind of, this, we're used to this. You know, I'm used to it as a head coach 21 years into it now. I, I, you know, I, I like my coaches a lot. And it doesn't surprise me that other, you know, programs would like my guys too. Can you tell us about Charlie's reportedly talk message? I've seen the reports. Nothing is official on our end. Charlie has not notified me of, of, of anything. Once he does, we'll certainly make it public. But, um, you know, that's, that's on, um, you know, Coach Molnar and, and uh, I believe it's you, Mass. With regard to Riddick, I know you're only worried about winning one game, but <coughs> as you look forward, is there the possibility that Riddick remains a running back? I think there's a possibility. You know, he... I mean, I don't want to go back to why we did it, because I believe it was the right decision based upon Jonas's grace, Jonas Gray and our program, and we want to get our playmakers on the field. But now that Jonas is out of the mix, and through injury and then graduation, obviously, you know, now there's some room at the top for a guy like Theo Riddick to be at the running back position. So I don't know that I'd put my hand down and said, no, we're never going to move him again. But he, he looks comfortable at running back right now. And how might that impact George Atkinson? Or would it? Um, uh, you know, I think he'd be more than two backs. I don't think that will impact him at all. Brian, just following up on Tim's question, how did Theo react to the move back to running back? I mean, is he excited about it? Yeah, he's been, he's been energized. And, you know, he just wants to play. You know, he's a football player. And, and Theo, the thing that he said to me today is, Coach, can I spend some more time with you? Uh, you know, going over film for the running back assignments. And I'd love to be able to say I, I want to spend a lot of time with you, but uh, I'm out recruiting too, so we got to balance that. But no, he's eager, he's excited, he's energized about being where he is.